Okay, guys, I got my mom here. She's a chef. And today, guys, we'll be watching TikTok hacks, food in particular. So, yeah, without doing much, let's just get right into it. This recipe makes exactly one cookie. So combine all of the ingredients on the screen and roll into one big ball. Microwave 30 to 60 seconds, depending on how soft you like your cookie. Yeah, I Okay. So for lunch, I just made this giant salad and it was so good and filling, so here's how I made it. And all the measurements will be in the comments. So I used romaine lettuce and spinach, and then I added this pre-cooked chicken, and some avocado, and chopped cherry tomatoes, and then a bunch of corn, and then I added some lime juice, and here's all the seasonings I added. And then I just put in four tablespoons of this dressing. Hmm. Yeah, that's how to make big salad. Mm -hmm. it's good. Anyway, grab a bowl. You'll need about 16 Oreos. Now chop them up, you know, using a spoon because we're keeping it safe. <gasps> Imagine pouring cereal in here. If you don't have another bowl like me, transfer them to another plate. That's hard to do with one hand. Add in one box of white cake mix, half a cup of vegetable oil, and two eggs. Whisk it all together. It'll look something like this. Add in your chopped Oreos. Mix that together. Let the dough chill in your fridge for about 30 minutes. Meanwhile, preheat your oven. To 350. Grab a pan and line it with parchment paper. The dough is done. Lightly press the dough into a ball and place it on the baking sheet. Place that to bake for about eight to nine minutes. Time to take it out. I did nine minutes. Once they've cooled down, this is what they'll look like. And I put them on a cake stand because I'm extra. And now you know how to make cake cookies. Let's try it. Okay, here we go. Wow, I thought it was gonna. That was just too much, but. <laughs> The outcome is looking nice. It tastes like cake. It tastes like a cookie. Mm. So Pizza Night used to run us anywhere from $20 to $50 to feed our large family. But this is how we do Pizza Night now and on a budget. So all you have to do is get tortillas. And if you want to do low carb, just get carb balance or wheat tortillas. Get some spaghetti sauce. This is actually margarita pizza spaghetti sauce. And it was really, 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 really good. Put a couple spoonfuls of it on your tortilla and spread it. Don't go too thick with the sauce because it will make your tortilla soggy. So you just need a little bit. Then you're going to go ahead and top it with whatever desired toppings we use mozzarella cheese and anything from spinach to mushroom to peppers tonight we just kept it simple and did mozzarella cheese and pepperoni and next you're going to put it in your preheated oven at 350 degrees and bake for about 10 to 12 minutes or until the cheese is brown and here you have it pizza that's not bad Here's how I make better than Olive Garden fettuccine Alfredo. Prepare two boxes of fettuccine noodles to al dente. While those are cooking, start the sauce by melting one stick of Kerrygold butter over medium heat. Add three cloves of minced garlic, and for this, I use the garlic press. Cook two minutes until it becomes fragrant. Don't burn the garlic. Whisk in two cups of heavy whipping cream and cook for seven to eight minutes until it thickens. Whisk in one and a half cups of grated Parmesan cheese and a half teaspoon of pepper. Cook for two minutes more and turn off the heat. Add to strained noodles and experience pure bliss. This is so much better than Olive Garden. <laughs> I, I don't know about that one. I don't know about that one.
make mini churros with Nutella. First, I'm going to start off by melting one fourth cup of butter, two tablespoons of brown sugar, and a half teaspoon of salt. Next, add one cup of water. Mix until you get a slight simmer. Next, add in one cup of all-purpose flour and give it a mix until you get a nice dough that resembles Play-Doh. Remove from heat for 30 minutes, then add one teaspoon of vanilla. Add in three eggs one at a time until you get a nice melty dough like this. Next, for our cinnamon sugar, make sure it's one third cup of sugar to one tablespoon of cinnamon. Next, cut mini churros just to your liking of size and cook those until a nice golden brown. Now that I have a nice golden brown color, I'm taking them out and I'm putting them onto a paper towel and blotting the excess oil. I'm mixing them around in my cinnamon sugar mixture and dipping them in my Nutella and we're all done. That looks like good. That. Hmm. that looks very, very, very good. Seems like someone will try that one out hmm. to be honest with you. That looks way good. Flatten your bread with a rolling pin. Super flat. Now you're going to put two eggs into a bowl, add some milk, some vanilla, and a little bit of cinnamon. Beat that all together. Get a little bit of cream cheese, room temperature is better, and spread that all over the center of the bread. Roll them up pretty tightly. They're going to look like that. Now dump them in the egg and milk and let the extra come off. Melt some butter in a pan, but like a lot of butter. Add the French toast roll-ups right down. And just cook them till they're browned on both sides. Add some syrup to the top, and that's it. You're done. They were easy. You were a big hit over here, too. That was good. starch, put the shrimp aside, and now let's make our glaze. One tablespoon of oyster sauce, two tablespoons of soy sauce, two tablespoons of apple cider vinegar, trust me, three tablespoons of honey, one teaspoon of chili flakes, one fourth teaspoon of cayenne pepper. That's what good sauce sounds like. On high heat, pan sear the shrimp. A minute on each side. In the same pan, add your glaze. Let it bubble for a minute or two and add your shrimp. When you see that there's barely any sauce left, that's when it's done. Let's taste test. Into pieces that look like this. To do that, cut a lime, cut it half again, cut it half again, cut it half again. Put the limes into a blender. Change your recipe. We're only gonna be using five limes because I just realized it's just me and Daniel here. Okay, okay. Please. Add in three quarters of a cup of sugar, half a cup of condensed milk, and you'll need about four cups of water. And we're blending! We are blending! Yes! We are blending! Oh snap! Grab a bowl with a strainer on top and pour your mixture in. See, we don't need all that. We don't need none of that. Put the mixture back into the blender and add three more cups of water. Blend that one more time. Grab a pitcher and pour it in. Oh yeah. Stir. Grab your cute cups out. <laughs> now you know how to make Brazilian limeade. Let's try it. Mm -hmm. Milk. Yeah, she has Milk to make it. Yeah. Five likes, 10 likes, no, 10 <laughs> likes. And she will make it. Maybe the next video. Please. Yeah, ten likes. So make sure you like make this video sure and also like subscribe. Uh, when you are, yeah, yeah, yeah. Should, should make, it, should make it. <laughs> okay. Okay, here we go. <gasps> wow! What? The? Give me a sip. <laughs> sure. Um. Anyways, that's it for this video. If you enjoyed it, make sure you smash the like button. Like, comment, subscribe. Yeah, do what she says. <laughs> if not. Please. <laughs> your your yes. next meal will be horrible. Yes. So, so it's going to not be, but please encourage me. Yeah, just go down. You see that button that's that red? Yeah. So, as you say, that's it for the video. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe. Uh, we'll see you all in the next video, hopefully, very, very soon. Thanks for watching. Love Peace. you guys. Bye. <laughs>